Funding now on Indiegogo, it's Shadowbinders, our second chance offer to get two hardcovers of our classic webcomic delivered to your door. Steampunk, fantasy, and romantic comedy from Clownfish Comics. Go to Indiegogo, check out the link in the description below. Now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Key Sparkles. Hello. And of course, we're going to talk about Gina Carano again. Right, because this keeps getting crazier and crazier. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the Gina Carano pop vinyl figure being canceled, which shouldn't surprise anyone because mm -hmm. Hasbro canceled figures. But what's really interesting about this is it seems like Gina Carano has been canceled harder than any celebrity before. Right. Because, you know, they're trying to pin it on this, you know, they keep doing that narrative where it's because oh, she's a transphobe because of her pronouns. And if you look at what actually happened, that's not what actually happened, but they keep not mentioning that. Or her abhorrent tweet about the Holocaust that Pedro Pascal made two similar tweets about prior, but he still has, has his, his pop vinyls. Yeah, so they're canceling the pop vinyls and there are some other celebrities that have also been quote unquote canceled that still have theirs, including Johnny Depp. Yeah, that's one of the things I said to you. I yeah. said, does Johnny Depp still have his? Uh, yeah, in fact, they've got a pre-order available on Entertainment Earth coming in June for another uh, Jack Sparrow pop mm -hmm. vinyl. And uh, if you go to you know the uh, Fantastic uh, uh, Beasts franchise, you'll see they have a Grindelwald mini. Again, it's restocking soon. It's not been canceled. So we're going to talk about that and talk about some other weirdness around the Mandalorian and some books that were suddenly canceled. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the rumor that Cara Dune will be completely unpersoned, that she is not going to exist in star Wars canon anymore. Yeah, that's an overkill. This is like above and beyond, like even Grindelwald, they recast Johnny Depp. Well, you know, they'll say it's overkill. I say it's covering their ass. Yeah. That's what this whole thing's yeah. about. They got, they're, they're getting backlash and they're getting a lot of shit for it. And Lucasfilm seems to be doubling down on this to, you know, I don't even think this is a Disney choice. I think this is a Lucasfilm thing. And, you know, anything that's associated with like things that fans like, we have to get rid of because you're going to like their High Republic and all the shit they shovel you no matter what. The only celebrity I can think of that's been canceled this hard that I can remember, and it was a temporary cancellation, was, was Pee Wee Herman. Mm -hmm. They took a show off the air. They stopped making toys. Yeah, they're the making a documentary about him and he's got a bunch of toys. So. Uh, yeah, you know, so, I mean, it could be that this too shall pass, but it's, it's weird. Again, you know, when you compare Carano to Johnny Depp, that Johnny Depp is still okay to make toys. Well, you okay. can't have actual real strong female characters out there. They all have to be associated with a narrative or they're not actually strong female characters. That is true. According to Lucasfilm, you know, why have Cara Dune when you can have a rock? <laughs> I think that rock is pregnant with lightsaber crystals. I bet you're, you're probably right. It's preggers. Stupid. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 182,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We get almost as many views as the official Star Wars channel with 3.5 yes, million. Not everybody's just listening to us to put down votes and hate comments. I know, right? So uh, those views are all legit. Yeah, so... Um, saw this today. It's going around that Entertainment Earth put a notification out there. They were emailing people that they had canceled the Kara Dune Funko Pop. Um, this is coming from an Instagram user called Diz Pops. This is what they but said. I know, I know who they are. I've actually, I think I've cited them before on, uh, you know, pop vinyl news. Yeah, because there are a lot of Disney related pop vinyls. Mm -hmm. Right. They said, unfortunately, we're sorry to report that the manufacturer has notified us that we will not be receiving any additional shipments of the Star Wars Cara Dune pop vinyl figure you ordered because they have discontinued production. No additional information was provided to us by the manufacturer as to why this occurred. Sadly, that means we will not be able to ship it to you and have canceled it from your order. We apologize for any inconvenience. Now, here's the thing. Entertainment Earth for one, this is not Entertainment Earth canceling Gina Carano. No. Um, I don't think this is Funko canceling Gina Carano because the way this works, at least with, uh, Lucasfilm and Disney is, you know, they are the ones that basically dole out the licenses for the actors mm -hmm. likeness and those actors get paid royalties mm -hmm. based on action figure sales. And we saw there was a big kerfuffle years ago with, uh, Enchanted with, yes, uh, Amy but, Adams. Yes. That's they, why there wasn't a lot of uh, Giselle stuff. Yeah, you Giselle, can't find so. Giselle stuff because they said it was her likeness, even though it was based on the cartoon version of her. Mm -hmm. But the cartoon version of her 
was based on her likeness. So they're like, we don't want to pair royalties. So they just stopped making the dolls. What's probably going on here is Lucasfilm made some phone calls and said, we don't, you know, hey, we don't want to pay this Yahtzee anymore. So stop making the toys. We want to act like Yahtzee's and not pay the Yahtzee. Yeah, don't don't give her any money. Um, this is unprecedented, I, I think. I, I can't remember any other time that there's been a problem with an actor that they've they've gone so far as to cancel every damn piece of merchandise. This is gonna this is gonna blow up in their face because it's it's so ridiculous. It's so it's so over the top. Uh, what are you afraid of? What are you so afraid of that you're canceling everything? You know what I mean? It makes yeah. one question like if you did nothing wrong and there's nothing weird about what you did and you stand by your decision, even though it's been brought up and pointed out many times that you know it's a, it's hypocrisy because you're allowing other people to make comments that vote the way you like. Um, you're, you're just trying to save it. What are you trying to hide? You're, you're trying to save face somehow. What are you trying to hide? Yeah, and they're probably justifying it like, well, we don't want to give her any more money or whatever. But I'm like, the character, short of, you know, wiping those two seasons of The Mandalorian from existence or, or you know, deep faking another actress's face on or some stupidity like that, she does exist. There are fans of that character, regardless of what you think about Gina Carano. And, and by taking away the action figures... You know, that is a very Yahtzee-esque move. Right, because I guarantee they're going to keep running the Mandalorian because they're going to want to cash in on that. They're going to keep running the Mandalorian and not going to take the Mandalorian down. Yeah, are you going to take are you gonna take all the episodes out or put a trigger warning be before all the episodes with her well, in it? Well, I'm sure that's what Lucasfilm wants because yeah. Lucasfilm, if you believe in the two factions thing, which every day more and more evidence seems to point that is, in fact, the, you know, what's going on. Mm -hmm. If you believe the two factions thing, it's they're trying to, to ruin the Mandalorian because these wackadoos honestly think that if they get rid of the Mandalorian, everybody is suddenly going to love the sequel trilogy. That's not how this is going to work. No. Or everybody's going to suddenly go buy the higher public crap. That's not how this is going to work. It, it, it doesn't work that way. They're just so flipping pissed off that people actually like Star Wars. It feels like Star Wars and not their fanfic bullshit that they're going to, you know, do everything they can to, to ruin it. Thinking that it's going to mean, well, if you want Star Wars, you have to come get it from us. And it's like, no, it just means people aren't going to do Star Wars at all. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but that's what it means. Because your stuff's still subpar. And that's why all the media is pushing for the sequel trilogy all of a sudden. So again, just, just to put this in perspective, because this you pointed this out about the Johnny Depp situation. People say, well, that's because Gina Carano is horrible. She said some, she said some horrible things. Um... The media painted Johnny Depp as a wife beater. Mm -hmm. He was fired from the Fantastic Beasts franchise, yet there are still toys of him coming out for Fantastic Beasts because they can separate the actor from the character. Uh, there's still new new uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Funko Pops with Jack Sparrow. They have no problem giving him money for his likeness. Right. This is new. Pre-order coming in June. One's Disney and one's Lucasfilm. That is the difference. That's what we want to talk about because people are like, oh, this is Disney up to shenanigans or whatever. Like even with all the, the drama going around attacking YouTubers and all that. No, Disney's got, they've got bigger fish to fry. If anybody's up to shenanigans, it is Lucasfilm. Specifically the story group or people associated with the story group because they're coming after people that are critical of Star Wars. Well, what are people talking about? They keep trying the media and Lucasfilm and that keep trying to bring up uh, their higher public initiative, but they keep trying to bring up the, the sequel trilogy. Like, every, out of nowhere, have you guys noticed? We keep pointing this out. Yeah. Here comes all the articles. Sequel trilogy, sequel trilogy, sequel trilogy. Constantly, okay? Still vilifying fans. Still keeping this shit going. Um, meanwhile, what people actually wanted was Mandalorian. They moved on. They're on the Mandalorian. They're on the Bubba Fett show. They're into, you know, all these other new things coming out. And a lot of them are not controlled by the story group. And now the story group's trying to shut those things down and attack fans and things like, well, not them, but people working with them or friends of them, it, it seems, are going out of their way to try to, you know, keep this narrative going because they're like, well, you know, they're all going that way. They're, they're ignoring us. Yeah, because your stuff sucked. Do better. Yeah, uh, this is some great A... I, I, I honestly, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, we've had celebrities that have been accused of literal murder not get canceled as hard as Gina Carano. We have Pee Wee Herman getting caught with this Pee Wee and they canceled the show. They got rid of his toys or whatever, but he still was like not 
unpersoned to the level he of was hermoning his peewee. He was, he was, and he eventually, you know, made a comeback. He was on a, he was on a game show. Uh, you know, they did an interview with him that was kind of an awkward. Inter- I remember watching that, and he was in Batman Returns and. And, all and they that. had the new Pee Wee Herman movie since. They've had a new Pee Wee Herman movie. And they're doing a documentary on him now. Yeah. So on Pee Wee Herman and stuff. Like, and I don't I think it's the character of Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. And it's like a footnote for most people, especially if you grew up in the 80s, uh, 80s, 90s with, with Pee Wee Herman. It was kind of a footnote. Like, I remember when he came back on, I think it was the MTV uh, Music Awards. He came back and he's like, you guys hear any good jokes lately? <laughs> Just kind of like he just kind of laughed it off, and that was it. And that's how it was kind of done back then. Now they canceled the toys in the show because I think they didn't want parents to have to explain to their kids why, you know, they're seeing Pee Wee Herman on the news or whatever. But I, I've never seen a, a celebrity canceled as hard as Gina Carano. No, and uh, and for what? Because she she said something that they didn't like on Twitter. A tweet. On Twitter, she put a, a tweet, tweet out there. There is a lot worse tweets coming out of people that they support, and that's what gets me. And and I'm just like. This is why we keep saying we're not the Disney needs to come in here and put in a guideline, a clear cut guideline. Now, this is acceptable. This is not acceptable. These are the steps that happen. If something isn't acceptable, you get a warning, you get this, 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 or whatever, depending on what it is. They need to make this very, very concise, very, very clear. And they need to make sure everybody's held to the same standard. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is absolutely a Lucasfilm thing. Um, you know, we got this covered put out there a couple of days ago that the the rumor is that Cara Dune is banned from appearing in any Star Wars anything. I've heard this a couple of places, yes. And we saw it on International Women's Day. They literally talked about every other female character in Star Wars. They talked around Cara Dune. They mentioned freaking Aunt Beru and Cy Snoodles. Mm, yeah. But they ignored Cara Dune. Now, you could argue, well... The wounds are still pretty fresh. This just happened. They didn't wounds want it, for what? You know, to them, to their feelings. Well, of course, they're not going to mention her because they're trying to cancel her. They, yeah. they, you know, of course they aren't. But I love it. They give a get a strong female character that people actually like. Because you know the narrative has been, well, you're all misogynist, sexist against women, and you know you're racist and all blah blah blah. So they get a character that people actually like that is universally liked. And then um, until they don't like the fact that the actress didn't put pronouns in her bio because they demanded that she do it. And she said, no, you can't tell me what to do. And I, and I respect what you wanting to use pronouns. I'm against bullying as they bullied her incessantly. Um, she's a strong female character, so they have to cancel her. And then they'll double down on their, you know, pseudo fake agenda driven BS characters that people have not liked the entire time. You don't ever hear people talking about Ray. They talk no. about Finn all the time. They talk about Kylo Ren. And unless they're talking about Raylo, they very very often don't even mention Ray. Yeah, it's kind of funny because now that the uh, the sequel trilogy is in the rearview mirror, it's like Ray is like an afterthought. People talk around her. They do. And I mean, it's, and she's I noticed supposed, that. Yeah, she's supposed to be the star. It's like, oh, Kylo Ren and now Finn because John Boyega Although coming Although Benjamin Tico because and of Tico. Tran. But when you look at the articles, and I've noticed this a lot, they talk around her. Yeah, they talk about Ryan Johnson and about him getting his other trilogy. And Kelly they, Marie you Tran, know, Jumbo, yeah, yeah. yeah, if they mention, I think it's usually just because they're mentioning the sequel trilogy, The Last Jedi, and they step over Ray like all the damn time. Like, like they should, because she right. was really boring. Yeah, so <laughs> she was I'm very like, boring. You know, She's a very boring character. I just character. think it's funny, and then they finally have a strong female character who kicks ass and is hilarious. I mean, she was in the uh, finale of season two. She was funny as heck with the gun. That was hilarious. And they have all these characters, like we mentioned before, they have the women all together and they were doing all the fighting and stuff. And no one, it didn't even register to me till partway through that it was all women. Because yeah. they didn't make it like, here are the women kicking ass. Like, and you watch all these movies and cartoons, I mean, even commercials. I'm just sitting there like rolling my eyes because you can clearly see the agendas and, the, and, and all that being played out. And it was so well done that you didn't even, didn't even register. And I was like, finally, something that was, you know, organic and cool and reminds me of the time before 2014 yeah <laughs> before the dark times before disney killed star wars uh, but before yeah twitter. and twitter yeah before twitter went batshit crazy um yeah we got this covered said and this this actually would be in line with the, the figures getting canceled they basically said that books do, got canceled too yeah books are getting canceled um they're not being burnt yet but they're they're being canceled uh, and they're probably books that have cara dune uh, Gina Carano, because they said that they basically want to cut her off financially. Lucasfilm doesn't want to give her a nickel. So they're, and again, it's just, it's the weirdest damn thing. Cause we've seen other celebrities getting hot water for frankly, worse offenses. 
And they've never gone to this level. Because it's not about that. They're, it's not even about Carrie doing the character. It's about that. It's a, it is, but it's, it's about them trying to cancel what they don't like. The fans are like liking. They don't like the fans like Cara Dune. They liked it until they they that they, they, she didn't vote the way they wanted. Now they yeah. have to cancel that. The Lucasfilm story group doesn't like the fans. We're excited about Luke Skywalker, and and them throwing a wrench into this could ruin the the plans for Mandalorian season three. Oh darn! No more Mandalorian season three, which is what we've been trying to get rid of this whole time because we don't like the fact the fans like the Mandalorian and not the sequel trilogy. Mm-hmm. I mean, and this isn't Disney. Disney just wants to make effing money. Yeah, again. Jack Sparrow figures still happening. Lots of Jack Sparrow figures are coming, right? Despite the controversy around Johnny Depp. Yeah, I don't think this is just Disney. I think this is Lucasfilm. This is Lucasfilm. Yeah, uh, because Disney, they want anything they can leverage to make money on, they're going to do it. Yeah, um, and that's the thing. Like, you know, again, you don't have to agree with what Gina Carano said, but that character is still on that show. Mm-hmm. And, you know... Well, they, she's gone. Season three might be in question. You know, oh, mm, they get what they want. Yeah. Um, but this is, I, I just, it's so bizarre. I mean, again, we've had celebrities accused of all kinds of crazy shit, and I've never seen them like, you know, burning all the merchandise and well, this who, quickly. It's insane. Leslie Heaven was assistant to uh, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, and no one's canceling her. I don't think he has a pot vinyl. No, but I'm just saying, no one's canceling her. They need a bigger box. I mean, it, she was just an assistant. Yeah, she was just an assistant, but still, I'm just saying, you know, where's the cancellation? You yeah, know, why? She yeah. was, you know, should be guilty by association because she looked at him once. You know, that's enough for other people to be canceled. So I'm like, the double standards are just getting ridiculous. And I'm so tired of the stupid cancel culture. I'm just, it, it's beyond parody at this point. Um. Meanwhile, you can pre-order your uh, Johnny Depp action figures, toys, and pop vinyls. Lots of pirate stuff. Look at this. This is, this is, wait, wait, this is a whole Disney series. Look at all these Johnny Depp characters in this. Not all uh, Johnny Depp. There's two. got two of them. He could be in the Rocketeer. He could be Kermit the Frog. (laughs) I'd rather not. Johnny Depp could totally be Kermit the Frog. He could be Bob in a reboot of the Black Hole. I can't. But there's two Johnny Depp characters in this. Again, he's not canceled. And it could be argued if he actually actually were the wife beater they claimed he was, that that is worse to physically abuse someone than to say mean things on Twitter. Amber Heard was accused of, of abusive, you know, being abusive to her ex-girlfriend. They have Mara, you know, pop vinyls and stuff. Yes, look at all the Mara stuff there. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, there no one's canceling all that. No, these are based on the comics, I think. But still, still, uh, you know, this, this clearly is Lucasfilm and not Disney. I don't think it is Disney, but you know, I could be wrong, but there's definitely, no matter how, who is behind it, there is clearly some kind of agenda here. And I think that Disney really, really needs to clean house or at least tighten, tighten the guidelines on everyone because you, you're, you don't, you're not handling things evenly. No. And, and I think if you handled everything evenly, even if you went and turned around and like punished somebody for saying things that you thought were bad, um, if you punish someone that said similar things on the opposite yeah. side too, people would have nothing they could say about it. Look at that. I know, right? Look at Those all the reaction figures, though. They're not Funko, yeah. but still. I know, but look at all. No, I know. I'm pretty sure Funko did a Pee Wee Herman before. Man, you can even get Captain Carl. You can get Captain Carl as an action figure. There you go. Now you can get Captain Carl. You know, I never watched Pee Wee's Playhouse. You've never watched Pee Wee's Playhouse? No. I know your grandma loved it. She did. Was, I know that's why you. Well, like, loved, I know your well, grandma my grandmother's loved it. favorite shows was Pee Wee's Playhouse. That she does loved. Not surprise me about your grandma. One of the best memories I have of my grandparents. They used to take me to movies because we lived pretty close to a mall that had a movie theater. We used to go all the time, but um, most of the time they slept through the movies. <laughs> they didn't like the movies I picked, but they would take me to go see certain movies, like Transformers, the movie. I remember they slept through it. They're like, we don't even know what's going on. We're taking a nap. But my God. They loved Pee Wee's Big Adventure. But this is also the woman whose favorite movie was Misery. Yeah, Misery's her favorite movie. And Pap's favorite movie was Sling Blade. Yeah. <laughs> so, he did a really good take Carl. That, take that for what you will. He did actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he would do that too. Like he, he would talk about fixing something. He was a mechanic. He'd talk about fixing something. He'd go, I need to go you know, change the oil on that thing. Mm-hmm. He did. It was funny. Anyway, uh, how's my family? We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. And if you have 
a, uh, a stash of Cara Dune figures, you're gonna make out like a bandit because they're going for a fortune. A fortune. Are they, are they gonna do like what they did with uh, the Cat in the Hat, and, or not Cat in the Hat, Dr. Seuss, and say you can't sell them on eBay? That was really, oh my God, yeah. But they're already going up on eBay. Yeah, you couldn't, you could, you couldn't sell the the Doctor Seuss, the band Doctor Seuss books. That was, yeah. I but you could that. buy Mein Kampf. I know, right? Go figure. I know. Go figure. <laughs> but you know, it's you, but, but the Doctor Seuss things are totally Hitler. That's right. So, all right. We're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Talk to you later. Bye.